I was like, I want my boobs to be out. Like, Were you in the middle of like a riff? It was, <sighs> and bam. Pretty much, but I didn't even notice it. I didn't notice it until I had to like, I was like face tuning my nipple out of photos. Like, <laughs> From Amazon Music, it's the walk-in, honey. What's the tea, honey bee? I'm Mo Hart, and welcome back to another fabulous episode of The Walk-In. Come with me. Ooh, today we are going into the closet of ladies. I think you need a little bit more than just this. You might need a jacket because we are going into the closet of Renee Rapp. Shh, I think she's right here. In just a short time, Renee Rapp has conquered TV screens, Broadway stages, and music charts. In the midst of a new tour, she's debuting her new studio album, Snow Angel. This diva's career is a full-blown flurry of yeah! I'm very excited. I'm very excited to visit my closet. I like comedy. Hi. How are you, beautiful? I'm good, baby. How are I'm you? I'm very, very excited to meet you. Hi. Okay, so here you go. You started with what some people would call the Super Bowl for the gays. When you were 17, the Jimmy Awards? That is the Super Bowl for the gay. Wow, that's good. And finding the stories behind the music and the fashion, girl. Oh, welcome cool. to the walk in. <laughs> <laughs> come on, let's oh, get your closet. I'm excited. Come on, come on. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at the closet! <laughs> Ooh, Louis Vuitton shoes. We yeah. are starting at the Fashion Rewind where we get to find out the fun stories, the intimate stories about the beginning. Yeah. So we want to start here because yeah. you yeah. got your start at 17, right? Um, Younger? 18, 18, 18. Same shit. How was it just receiving all of that attention, like just at an early age? It was very cool. It was also like, it was something that I, I knew that I really wanted to do because mm. I knew that it would be good for my career. Mm. But it was one of those things where like you talk so much shit about doing it and then when it actually happens, you're like, Thank God. Yeah. If that had not worked out, how embarrassing. <laughs> All right, my dear, tell me about this. Don't. This is vintage Chanel. Chanel. Okay. This is my Mean Girls robe. Yes, yeah. girl! How did it feel? Tell me about the process. I was just so nervous the whole time that I was in the show. How was it, like, you know, just singing from, like, show and to, like, Broadway? Six shows a week, double, like, how is that? It like, is. Crazy. crazy. It is such a grind. And also like I had like such a princess track in Mean Girls. Meaning like I really would just like walk on, yell, walk off, chill, do it again twice and then I'm done for the night. Yeah. Like our ensemble, I actually don't physically understand how they do it. Genuinely, it is un fucking real. But congrats on Broadway. Thank you. Tell me about this. Okay, so this is my first music video. This is what I wore. This is actually pretty much the whole thing. And what was the song about? It was about this horrible, horrible situation I can't even call it a relationship. Oh, a situation ship. Oh, now we want the juice. Yeah. Give us the tea. It was just a dud, to be honest. Like, not a good egg. Not a good mm. egg. So I was down very bad, horrendously. And I wrote the song Tattoos, and this was in the music video Tattoos. In hindsight, his tattoos are horrible. Bonk. They look like chicken scratch. Ooh. Yeah, it was rough. I love this jacket. This was my first show as an artist I did at the Troubadour, and this was the jacket that I wore. And I was like, I want to wear like a big jacket, and I was like, I want my boobs to be out because I want to be like Free. feminine and also like uh, mm -hmm. at the same time. So I got a little mm, from this. Did I you charge the people at the show extra? You'd be like, everybody's accounts have been charged extra. I was honestly just so happy people came. I was like, this is great. Okay, I was like, this is all for you. There you go. Like, Were you in the middle of like a riff? And it was bam. <sighs> Pretty much, but I didn't even notice it. I didn't notice it until I had to like, I was like face tuning my nipple out of photos. And I, was like, <laughs> I was like, I don't even know how to do this. And honestly, I crushed, but. <laughs> yeah. Please tell us about this, because first of all, this is a look, the ensemble. I know, it's okay, so Okay, get into it. It's so cute. This is a personal fave, because mm -hmm. I'm a big, I love a long jacket, yes. and I love a long jacket with strong shoulders. Yes. The jacket is the giving movement, mm -hmm. right? I'm right about that? Yeah, come on. And the pants are Elsa. Yeah. Um, and I don't even think we had to tailor these pants, which is always a big win for me. What shoe did you wear? I wore a pair of ones. It does kind of go with any and everything. You can Look, dress them up or down. Yes, it was a fucking era. It was an era of my life that I was just like, mm, sorry, I'm wearing whatever I want on the top and sneakers on the bottom. You mm -hmm. can't touch me, don't talk to me, don't ask me. Any question about who I am, 
I don't know. I was temperamental. I was like, I want to bisexual up my wardrobe. Oh, let's talk about that. This is a bisexual's jean. So the bottom is very she, her. This, well, I had an outfit for today and I was in a badass mood um, and I didn't want to wear it. Point for the camera, yeah, oh! Now, what boot is this? Hot. These boots are hot. This is where I found out that your love for Jasmine Sullivan yeah. is strong. Okay. So tell us about like just going on the Jennifer Hudson show because you're a big fan of hers as well. I have never been so scared. I stuttered the whole time and I was trying to keep it so cool because I was like, hey Jennifer. Hey, good to see you. But I couldn't. Yeah. I literally couldn't. She's so good and so, so talented. Tell me, so after you started to get some money in the bank account, tell me about your first big purchase and what was it? My first big purchase, which nobody else approved of, so I did it privately, was these shoes. And I wore the hell out of them. Mazel tov. I swear to God, I wore these so much. It is outrageous. Lovely investment. They still look great. It was and the great, condition is still great. Unreal. And I don't keep things super nice. I'm not known for that. Okay, so they yeah. didn't approve, but you said I'm doing it anyway. That's right. I live. Yeah. My dear, this has been amazing getting to know just your life, your story, the beautiful beginning. Yeah. But darling, we want to push on to the pop girl era. Okay, so let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Now I hear that this. Yes. Yeah is the look for a new single. Yes, this is, I wore this in the Snow Angel music video. And it, oh, it still has my makeup on it. Oh, it has makeup under my, could be boob sweat. Tell okay. me, what was the inspiration? I had never really danced in any of my music videos and I danced like my whole life growing up. As we were doing rehearsals and kind of going through the process, I was like, oh, we need arms on something. It needs to like flow. And also this feels very like, you know, a little ballerina, ta 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 ta. You know, yeah, exact that. Are these the shoes? Uh, no, these are just shoes I like. Okay, tell us about them. These are a new ad. From? These are a new ad to my closet. Oh, ad addition. They're the Bad Bunny Adidas collab. Do you like him? Oh, I love Bad Bunny. Okay. He is a cutie. <laughs> yeah, I love it. Also, all the shoes are really cute. Very that. Can we talk about queerness for a minute and just being a queer individual in 2023? And no. Being... No? Yes. Yes! How was that journey? Like, how did the people around you support you? I was having a conversation about this literally last night with my best friend. We were talking about the Talk Too Much music video, and she was like, I didn't even, like, clock that this was gonna be like your first video where like you're like with another girl. But what is even cooler to me is like her and I didn't think about that once. That is just how we exist in our friend group in our community. So it was like a non thought to that. us. It was just like inherent like, oh yeah, okay. And this is my girlfriend and this thing it. and whatever. I love that. Yeah. Yay! for the queers, okay. <laughs> Boom, tell us about the prima donna. I wore this on the Today Show. And this is probably my favorite outfit I've worn. You look like you could almost be like a part of like a bowling league. A bowling league, some have said that to me. Mm -hmm. I felt different about it once I heard the bowling thing. There was also a nurse comment. <laughs> Your package has arrived! Yes. <laughs> yes. You know what? Yeah. I think you could have your own delivery service. I could. It would be the worst run delivery service. I would be taking everything. If you want Renee to do her own delivery business, prima donnas, jump her down in the comment section. I'm here for yeah. it. They'd love it. Ooh. Tell us about this one. Snow Angel. That needs to be my like producer tag on, I live. on any Snow Angel. On every Very song that. I do, it will be that. Yeah, this is the Snow Angel like first like merch drop mm -hmm. um, hoodies. I like merch that doesn't feel too much like merch. Like it could I just be a really agree. cute thing. I do agree. You know? Tell me about this one, because this is gorge. I feel like you, you own the company. You're about to go yes. on a date. Yeah. yeah. This is what I wore in the Talk Too Much music video. I loved it, loved it, loved it so much. Because this is everything to me. Mm -hmm. I don't wear a lot of lace. I don't mm -hmm. do a lot of that. But since the whole thing was all black, I really, really liked it. I could see you in like the coven. Put me in the coven. Very bad. I'm in one. Re Tell the name, give a shout out. Actually not. Okay, maybe not, okay. Before we go, we're gonna play a little game. Okay. Oh, stunning. A little Renee Rapid Fire. <laughs> baggy jeans or baggy jacket? Baggy jeans. Okay. Making music or performing music? Uh, making music. Yes. Sweet snacks or salty snacks? Um, for snacks, salty. Vacation or vacation? 
um, vacation. Where? Anywhere but where I at. Okay. Avoid, avoid, avoid. <laughs> One more question. Talk too much or talk too little? Talk too much to the people who like to listen to you talk. Yes, I live for that. Yes. This has been so much fun. Do you have anything you would like to say to your fans before we go home? Who are also called Young Ex-Wives. How did they come oh, up with yeah. that? Yeah, I wrote in the song, like, I'd meet, like, a young ex-wife in Colorado, and then, like, it's kind of like a sugar mama situation. So she was getting that coin. <laughs> Renee, this has been fabulous. We have walked in. Now it's time to walk out. Let's push on the Come on. Legendary children, click here to subscribe and click here to watch more episodes of The Walk-In. And you can click here to listen to my album Snow Angel on Amazon Music. We'll see you next time. Bye! Bye.